As you are aware, Mr. Speaker, I am in my third term in this House, just as the Deputy Majority Leader. We came here at the same time. We are all conversant with the rules of this House. Matters to do with annual reports, the compliance of the Presidential Office Act 1993, we have always used the business statement to draw attention. I recall that when we were in power, the Honorable Patrick Yabuama, he specialized in that. And the Honorable Deputy Majority Leader is aware. He used the president. And I say that the words he used to describe the president, he must draw. Honorable Okudiato Ablafa must withdraw that statement. He must withdraw. You cannot say the president described himself as blah blah. I will repeat it, but the records are there. You will withdraw it. You will withdraw. You will withdraw. Ablafa, you will withdraw. You will not say that of the president. You will withdraw. Mr. Speaker, he will withdraw. Second, on the concern by Honorable Member for Saula Tuna Kaba. Uh, Honorable that, Member Keta, please, will you resume your seat? I'll call. If you have concerns, I'll give you the time. You, you will resume your seat. The member suddenly he says, I cannot use this forum. And then he's pouring all kinds of invectives on me. It's, it's not acceptable, Mr. Speaker. Let's not be doing this. Thank you, well, Mr. Speaker. Well, well, no, well noted. Please, let's, let's. If they engage their colleagues and they liaise with the table office, some of the many concerns that are raised, even when we present the business committee report, we will minimize them. So, Mr. Speaker, we may want to do the politics of Friday. That is fine. But in doing the Friday politics, we should also be mindful of the integrity of others because they are human beings. So, Mr. Speaker, I would conclude by encouraging members that when they file their questions, they should follow up, engage members of the committee, engage leadership, and ensure that if there are some hitches, we resolve them.